quick video Hawaiian baby would grow seeds not gonna keep you too long guys because you don't want to fucking listen to my bullshit all day every day for the rest of your fucking lives dickhead um to the point I tried them once in first year uni they were pretty banging but I only had like two or three my mate just gave me them but I was so fucking blazed I didn't really know what was going on I was just like Alright mate, fucking give me them seeds, fucking drop these seeds. And I was like, yeah, 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 it did basically nothing. I'd say they may, might have fucking intense the visuals, but I reckon it's more placebo, if anything like that. Um, so I'd done that. I was fucking gravy, like, I proper enjoyed that shit. Like, whatever. I was too busy fucking stoned. But I said I enjoyed it, and I said I'd fuck, probably fucking do it again. A year passed, and I was like, you know what I need to do? I need to go online, I need to get myself some fucking legal highs, mate. You know, get that fucking LSA, LSA, LSA down you. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, fucking take this. I was like, yeah, fucking take it. Take it, Warren, just fucking do it. So I went online, fucking bought it. I bought 250 seeds. What, 200, why would you buy 250 seeds of Hawaiian baby wood rose? I was just like, yeah, probably a fucking good idea. They got through my house, didn't hit any customs or anything. They were definitely imported out of the country. I don't know where from at the time. I mean, this was like three, four years ago. Fucking got them and I was like, yeah, right, fucking, I'm just going to do like 25 seeds straight off the bat. Just <laughs> as you do. So I was like, yeah, 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 25 seeds. Fucking got a little metal grinder, like, started grinding, mate, this is dirty as fuck, man. I started grinding, like, 25 of these seeds up, like, I, it was a solid metal grinder, it was like a little baby, I fucking loved it. It was fucking good for grinding. And I was, like, ragging it, I was proper ragging it. And, like, you know you're not meant to eat the outside of the seeds, because, like, poisonous or something. I was just like, nah, shut your mouth, son, I'm just gonna fucking do these. So I, like, round up 25. Honestly... Um, it might have been a little more, but I literally weighed out how much it was in total. I've fucking done over a gram of LSA, like a gram of this fucking substance. I threw it into like a little yogurt, like a little strawberry raspberry yogurt. I was like, hey, fucking pour this like browny yellow powder. Fucking smell dodgy. Tasted pretty dodgy raw. But with the yogurt, I was like, yeah, yeah, fucking smash that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing I know. I'm getting a bit like, getting a bit of a woozy stomach, I'm like, mmm, mmm, not feeling too good about this, it's probably a bad child, probably a bad child, but that actually passed, I don't know if the yoghurt helped, but I, I guess if you fucking want to go for it, fucking do it, uh, so we done that, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. decent, 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 uh, the, the nausea actually passed, uh, and then it got to like the hour point or something like that, I was like, mm. I was like, mm. what's that, mm. I was like, some weird shit was going down, like, some fucking faint visuals, there was, like, some silver lining going on, like, some of my fucking posters or whatever. Um, pretty good, I'd definitely go there again, but it started getting a bit dark, so I had, like, probably about, like, fucking eight hour mark. My mate over there was lying on my bed, and he was just, like, fucking drinking booze as well, he was drinking booze on this LSA, and he was like, I shouldn't have had those beers, mate, and he kept looking at me, and I was like, this guy's fucked. <laughs> I would not have drank that alcohol, he was like, you could tell, he was like yellow in the face and shit, I was like, these guys are fucking, these guys need some cannabis, so I was like, trying to roll a spliff, and like, there's some all some mind shit going on, like, mind you, I was still quite a young kid, I must have been 19, maybe 20 years old, but like, there was some fucking next level shit going on, I was like, no nah, mate, no nah, mate, and like, last thing I remember fucking seeing was like, lots of colours like, vibrating, but, it was more introspective, it was more about like me and fucking what I was thinking and my thoughts and my fucking relationship to like friends and fucking introverted like fucking thing. So I was like, yeah, yeah fucking get on. Oh, hello, that cheeky bird. Oh, should not have done that. Hello. She looks fucking Australian, mate. Yeah, she's probably been walking for days, bro. Walking for days. Anyway, back to it. Oh, mate, it's only 4 minutes 30. I'm glad I've got all of this bullshit out. Anyway, so we're towards the end of the fucking treat. I was like, yeah, 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 this is brilliant. Excellent, I fucking love it. Um, but I literally was knackered. It was it was a knackering trip. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Why have I fucking gone and done so much about something I didn't even fucking know? 
was even going to have this much effect on me. Like, I actually previously in my first year, I might do a quick trip report on it, like, make sure it's only, like, five minutes. Five minutes now, boom. Uh, make sure it's only five minutes for the Hawaiian Vaporwood Rose. No, Hawaiian Vaporwood Rose, this one, five minutes. I'm actually very fucked up at the moment. Um, but I'll do another one on Morning Glory Seeds that I've done as well. Um, I don't suggest doing them to be honest because I threw up like a major fucker back on the Hawaiian Baby Rubber Rose. Next day I was like pretty shattered, like I was quite worn out, like it wasn't really an enjoyable trip. Like I guess I would, I think I'd done it again a couple of times in the year but again I don't know if I would do it anymore. I think there's a lot better things in this world to be taken. Uh, if but again, I mean, if you're a bit of if you're a bit of an experimental type like myself, you'd like to try everything once, even gay sex. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, yeah, just fucking. Um, obviously, just do what you need to do when it comes to wine, baby, or grows, anything like legal psychedelics. Give them a go once if you like them. Go ahead, but I think the body load, the nausea, stuff like that, and even like the after effects, it was quite like. Uh, I felt quite exhausted afterwards. I was like, mm, probably not going to do those again anytime soon in the next, like, fucking ten years. And there's some random fucking hobo geese like, do you want some seeds, mate? Go fucking get some of these seeds, brother. Just fucking take them. And then in that case, I'll be like, yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> fucking do it. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I think that's it. Um, Hawaiian Red Wood Rose, I'd probably give it about a 6 out of 10. Ain't that good. <laughs> Nice visuals, I guess, but it doesn't outweigh the bullshit that you have to deal with. I've done it previously a couple of times where I've thrown up. I went to the pub, started drinking alcohol. That was fucking stupid. Um, there's a couple of other things that I've done um, on them. But yeah, I don't suggest it at all. Stick to weed, stick to what you know, and stick to what has had the most research on. My fucking days at the 420, mate.